the last few years has seen a surge in the category of investment class called as non-traditional investments investments that don't comprise the normal equities bonds uh, money market instruments that we are quite familiar with and in indian markets these are to these are categorized as alternative investment funds hello everybody and welcome to this video on understanding the role of alternative investment funds what do they do how do they work what are the criteria to invest in them and so on and so forth i'm your learning partner sushila hariharan and this is a youtube channel that you must subscribe to if you're interested in a career in investment banking and hedge funds as well as otc derivatives and trade life cycle what are aifs aifs or alternative investment funds are those funds that invest in non-traditional investments so let's go back a little to understanding what are funds the concept of a fund basically is a pool of funds that is aggregated by the asset manager and then invested in different asset classes right so this concept of pooling also exists in AIFs or alternative investment funds this pooling means that the funds are contributed to a by different investors in the case of AIFs, there is an investor categorization called as accredited investors before they are permitted to invest into the fund. The capital contribution by different, the fund contribution by different partners then is pulled together by the general partner and the AMC along with the general partner and other research analysts, trading strategists, etc. Quant analysts now getting a big, big deal into the fund industry collectively invest this money so this pooled funds concept i've already uploaded many videos on pool fund concept please go back to some of the videos and understand what is the concept of pooling of funds vis-a-vis -vis portfolio management services okay so pooling of funds is extremely uh, common nowadays because of the kind of capital that is there with investors to contribute towards the funds so it is a pool of funds that invests in non-traditional investments. So the traditional investments comprise of four categories. Okay, we call them as equities, and they are different types. These could be uh, DVRs, ADRs, and so on and so forth. These also include preference shares, uh, money market instruments like commercial paper, certificate of deposits, and treasury bills. The third category of traditional investments include preference shares and the different types of preference shares that is cumulative preference shares, redeemable preference shares, irredeemable preference shares, non-cumulative preference shares, etc. And the fourth category of traditional investments include uh, the bonds or the fixed income securities. These could be corporate bonds or government bonds also called as treasury bonds or government of India securities, GSEX as they are called in India. So the traditional asset class is very much preferred by a large population, okay, wherein the returns generated by the traditional asset class is closely linked to the performance of the underlying asset in a registered, recognized market, okay. So if the underlying market like the National Stock Exchange or the NYSC has extreme volatility, then the traditional asset class investor is also exposed to that uh, volatility okay so traditional asset classes give you kind i will not say predictable returns but you can calculate the returns of what you're going to expect from the investment on the other hand if you look at sophisticated investors savvy investors investors who need customized products structured products etc they would look at getting higher returns and they come from the premise that they are willing to take the risk okay so investors who invest in alternative investment funds are different in terms of risk temperament and this risk temperament is very difficult to uh, you know quantify okay because the traditional theory is that higher risk higher return and so on and so forth but in the market it's very difficult to predict and state with exact certainty as to what kind of returns you are going to get so aifs have become very popular with these investors who are willing to put in a large amount of capital into this pool and in return are you know getting in 
uh, a lock-in period. Okay, so these three characteristics are very common for an AIF. The first one is that it is a large amount of capital in India. A, con uh, a capital contributor into an AIF is having to pay almost, I think, one is, is having to contribute one crore rupees minimum in the US. That it's about two fifty thousand uh, dollars and so on and so forth. So every country has their own regulation as to what should be the minimum investor contribution. The second one is most of them will have a lock-in period. In most funds in India, uh, in AIFs, the lock-in period is between three to five years. Okay, And the third one is the returns get generated only at the time after the lock-in exit takes place. Okay, So the investor cannot, the most AIFs therefore are close-ended in nature up to a point and then they open up for subscriptions and redemptions. In India, the way we categorize all in, uh, the alternative investment funds are whether they are uh, the first category is listing, uh, sorry, investing in unlisted stocks like private equity, angel funds, venture capital funds, and so on and so forth. Then you have debt funds, uh, which are distressed debt funds, which are convertible debt fund, convertible arbitrage funds, etc., and so on and so forth. So the categorization of alternative investment funds is very very uh, different depending upon the country that they are operating in many funds also do not like to have any infinite number of investors so in india most aifs have a cap on the total number of investors as thousand okay so uh, max max thousand investors and each of them contribute one crore so you can imagine what would be the assets under management the main benefits of investing in AIFs is that there's a very high return potential for the investor, uh, especially because they stayed locked in for a uh, long period of time. AIFs also create some bit of diversification along with low volatility, which are beneficial for the investor. So this investment class has been gaining in popularity over the last few years. And there's a reason behind that. People's wealth has increased multifold indices the main uh, equity market indices across the world literally have doubled from pre covid to today in 2024 september 2024 in in the span of 5 years the equity asset class has generated phenomenal returns the bond ma markets also have seen fantastic action why because interest rates went almost zero <laughs> during lockdown yeah, i remember march of 2020 when all the indices almost collapsed right i mean all the indices collapsed and governments are grappling with what to do with the covid situation and economic lockdowns and recessions etc so globally there was a macroeconomic effort made to reduce interest rates to zero and then today we're at a five you know at a, literally at an eight-year high in terms of interest rates across the world interest rate arbitrages are reducing because of this fact so all these things make alternative investment funds aifs extremely popular amongst investors the main uh, objective of alternative investment funds is this high net worth customer who has to pool in who has to invest his capital into a product that would give him better than normal returns okay and that's the reason why in india you're hearing off late a lot of uh, hedge funds who are operating out of india uh, participating in the derivative market trading in uh, futures and options etc all of them come under this categorization of uh, funds that are looking at high risk high return kind of returns so the investment strategies also that are adopted by these AIFs is very, very uh, subtle. Of course, the, the alternative investments sometimes also uh, include, uh, you know, sculptures and art. But those are in, those are investments made by the rich and the wealthy. Okay, but a fund directly is a pool of capital. So the capital has to be generally invested in mark. Ma marketable securities okay uh, marketable securities means securities that which may not be marketable now but maybe after three years or five years like a like a uh, unlisted company that goes through various rounds of uh, uh, venture capital funding and then gets into a ipo stage there is a tremendous amount of activity and interest in AIFs across the world thank you so much for listening in